Sorry guys, I paused the video by mistake. So um, this will be part two. So if you've just clicked on this, please watch part one. To recap, we had the two of wands, four of wands, ace of wands, and the wheel of fortune there. So seven wands. Yeah, and I posted some about sevens yesterday, um, seeing the sevens. Okay, so this Wheel of Fortune is um, it's like destined events here. So with that in mind, what I posted yesterday saying, you know, I kept seeing 777. So it is about, you know, um, following your divine path, um, what you was, you know, meant to follow there and being on track and, um, you know, um, what your desired outcome, what you wish for will occur very soon. So it's saying, you know, it's working. Keep at it there. So let's see. Let's get back to the reading for Lionsgate. Okay. So speaking of fated events and destined things here it could be that um you meet your destined life partner at this time um they could start asking you out on dates this ace of wands you know warns about don't miss opportunities so it could be a very hot time look at all this fire here it could be a very hot time that you are receiving offers to socialize here you know maybe you are keeping um this gate open for somebody from the past and um you know you decide although you know the door's still open for them to come back you may decide that you know i'm going to start accepting dates now okay i'm going to start socializing um especially because this lover's card is about um you know your divine paths um separately also you know um but also about coming together and being able to heal um, your connection there. So definitely um, a fated lover or um, partner coming in for you guys. So you may find at this time that you meet karmic soulmates. So karmic is not always bad. I'm sick of saying that to people, but karmic is not always bad. Um, so please do remember that it just means, you know, we've met in a past life. We have some sort of history basics there. Basic. So, yeah, I'll put lots of stuff in the description box as well for you guys. So please do check that out. So four of swords. OK, so this person could have been, I want to say, hiding out or hiding away from you. Um you know, staying in the shadows here. So maybe it's taken them a longer time to come to the light. What happens at Lion Gate is we're all activated. So maybe you are a little more in front of them, um, in front of the person you may consider your divine partner. So are they maybe now revealed to you, I feel here, um, you know, a spotlight on them now. So they will be activated and pushed forward. So if they've been dragging their feet, um, which is not uncommon, um, you know, go ahead and expect them to now start coming into the light here. If they've been stood still, um, they are now going to be forced with the lion's gate, you know, into activation, okay? Um, this light's going to hit them. You can't avoid, you know, this. So, uh, sorry about the tickling of the nose. I mean, do something else, spirit. Please stop tickling my nose. Um, so, yeah, um, I feel like, you know, if they've been in this rest period, they're about to come into the light now. OK, so they could have been going through the dark night of the soul. If you haven't been in contact with them, I feel like they've been going through um, some troubled times. Um, I feel like here within this card, things will start to ease up for them now so they can start to um, get some movement. They've been having trouble sleeping here. I know that's usually the nine of swords, but I'm picking up here. They've been having trouble sleeping and that will be um, the fact that they are being activated. OK, we're all being sent these light activation codes. But if somebody has been dragging their feet, you can expect them now that they will move forward. OK, so you may just get a 
high strange attacks okay and you're like what where did this come from how did this turn around with the wheel of fortune here so yeah um be prepared and be honest with yourself like i did the virgo reading and it was about exes coming back in the retrograde and i felt terrible because their ex had returned and then they left again and i was like i hope this wrong and i just got comments saying nope they returned and they left again um so yeah you know they they're gonna you're gonna realize look you can't keep doing this anymore okay i need a break from this so if, if you've been going backwards and forwards and somebody you may find that you're the one now like retreating and needing rest from this i like I'm going to be real with myself, you know, a light's going to be shined on this situation, the illusions are going to fall away, and I'm not impressed with this situation anymore, okay, I waited, and I waited, and I waited here, and, you know, what have I got from this, it, it drains me, I need rest all the time, um, so, you know, you can find at this time, because, especially if you're already empathic and it's going to be heightened that you're going to feel more drained. You're going to need more rest. Okay. So yeah, I feel like if, if that situation is going on with you, they're coming back and leaving and coming back and leaving. You might just want to step out of the spotlight for a bit. Okay. Because you will find that you need healing. Both of these cards speak of healing here. So there's still healing to be done in that situation. It's going to like force you to look at things for what they are. Okay. So yeah, if you've got like, say a false twin or just a soulmate who's not meant to be with you forever, you know, these sort of things are going to be brought to your attention here. Okay. King of Cups. Okay, so yeah, this could be like, you know, this deep love that you're feeling uh, for somebody uh, or they're feeling for you here. But it's being able to control your emotions. I mentioned about if you're empathic, it becoming, you know, much more. So if you find yourself getting overwhelmed by feelings, any feelings, anger, love, hurt, you know, somebody irritating you, you know, take a step back. You need like rest from this situation. Um, probably the more work you've done on your ascension, the more the ascension symptoms will affect you. And like I said, they can be um, flu-like symptoms. So like aching of, you know, your legs, your joints and uh, things like that. And you're like, why am I feeling so sluggish? And, you know, um, so, yeah, I'm, you may just be picking that up more with the King of Cups. You know, this is like, say, if the Queen of Cups, she's, um, you know, a nurturer and telepathic and things like that. I feel like you're going to absorb that a lot more. OK, because we're not doing signs in this reading. It's more about um, the energy you're feeling. It's this ascension moving up. OK, moving up your energy. So maybe if you was at a night energy, you're moving up to a king energy, that sort of thing, just as an example there. Um, but I do feel like this is a deep emotional feeling that you'll be feeling. So maybe like if you are like, I'm tired, you could be quite upset, like um, quite emotional. If You know, if you're finding that you know, you're quite emotional, you keep having emotional outbursts, then I would say, you know, have some rest, okay? Especially if this um, love situation, um, because of these three cards here together, especially if, you know, this divine love situation has had no movement and it's quite draining of you when they're not telling you they love you here with the King of Cups because they're trying to keep their world afloat here. So, you know, coming into this light and telling you, oh, I love you. I know I'm meant to be with you. It's hard work, we know. Um, and they was having difficulties coming forward, difficulties speaking it. Um, then it could have been quite draining to you, hearing nothing, seeing no movement. OK, so I feel like both of you will have been drained in this situation here. It could be now, like I was saying, that you're now having options um, from people. People are now making you a lot of offers, romantic offers as well here. 
So maybe you went through a period of no offers and now you're receiving a lot of offers, but you might be just that you're too tired or you're not into that just yet. But if you are, um, I would take things slowly here. Um, especially if you meet somebody and you feel like you've got this immediate connection to them, um, you know, take things slowly here, okay? You're going to be feeling good about yourself with the Four of Wands and Ace of Wands. That's confidence there. That Four of Wands and Ace of Wands, that's some confidence. But, you know, um, be careful during Leo season that it's not ego, um, you know. So, yeah, you're going to be feeling good about yourself. You're going to be looking good. Um, maybe you're even wanting to party and celebrate here and get out. You know, you're going to be feeling good energy here. So, as, as well as all the partying, remember to rest maybe here. Look at that, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, feeling good about yourself. Feeling that abundance within yourself. Empowered alone here. Um, like I always tell you, the nights at nines um, uh, go to the hermit it's number nine so it's about being on your own but this is feeling good on your own having overcome those spiritual lessons having raised your vibrations having learned to refill your own cup and love yourself here okay guys so yeah remember when you're feeling good and if you you know are getting all these offers and you are looking good i mean you all look good to me you know Everybody else is taking notice of uh, you looking good here. Six ones. People are starting to take notice of you here and want to date you, want to take you out because you're feeling good about yourself now. Okay, you're gonna. Things are gonna seem like they do a complete turnaround for you here, and you're feeling good. And you know, um, people are gonna want to be part of your life here maybe you don't want that with the four of swords so you know you know maybe you don't accept some offers but this ace of wands you know tells you you can accept offers um don't miss out on fun times you don't have to you know marry the person you accept an offer from here it's just you know accept don't miss all opportunities here. Don't become so, so much of an introvert. You start to miss opportunities, okay? Because um, your divine partner will not pass you by. It will not, you know, um, because you've gone a few dates and things like that. You know, enjoy yourself. You know, be proud of yourself. Be grateful for, let's just say, pick nine things that you can find to be grateful for because you're in this, stage of growth this stage of abundance here and um when i was saying i had um a tower moment and i ended up having to buy a new phone and somebody said to me well remember what you said you said you wanted a new phone um so i was like yeah so this is why i tell people be careful what you wish for because the universe is always telling you yes you know can I have a new pair of shoes? Yes. Can I have a new house? Yes. And um, then how it comes to you, we're not actually in control of. So it happened that I had to get a new phone because I went through um, a tower moment. So just be aware at this time, because I feel like you're attracting in um, a lot of positive things, um, but also, um, you know, how we get them sometimes might not be so great. You know, maybe your shoes get stolen, so you have to buy a new pair of shoes. So, yeah, I feel like you're very abundant and you're attracting in um, a lot at this moment here, attracting in love as well here because she's looking at this King of Cups. So I feel, well, he, she, um, I feel like, you know, you're attracting in everything at this time, love and offers and um, coins here things just um, turning around for you so yeah remember to rest during this time remember to ground yourself maybe if you like gardening um, you know spend time in your garden if you know spend time walking by lakes and things like that really out in nature here maybe even just feeding the birds here um, you know because these things will become overwhelming 
during this lion's gate okay it even offers even if they're positive offers it can be quite overwhelming i mean i myself i've been through in my younger days um a time where you know if you get a lot of offers it can be quite daunting and you're like well which one should i choose and things like that being a scorpio i'm always like i like to follow and trust my instincts like what the king of cups will be the top of his game sort of thing so he'll you'll be really heightened and um your empathic abilities your sensitivity will be really heightened here be on top of its game so trust it that's all I'm saying, trust it, you know, and you can't go wrong trusting your instincts there. So great, great reading so far, guys. Great. I love it. You know, um, you might just be needing a little bit more rest if you have been, you know, getting out more. But this is overall things turning around, but it's saying things will turn around, things will go good. Just remember to rest. Remember to take care of yourself, Nine of Pentacles. Remember to feed yourself, eat good then. Page of Wands, yeah. So, um, you know, new beginnings, um, fresh starts, having... Um, what's the word you know that taking that initiative and wanting to go 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 so you may um feel like you know i've got all this energy but your body actually needs rest here okay so you know you may feel like yeah i want to go 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 but eventually you might crash so um yeah i feel like here you'll be wanting that um sp it's like you'll be getting a spark like ideas and those sort of downloads that can lead to better money opportunities um, that will lead to things turning around. It's messages. So if you want a message from somebody you're not in contact with, you can um, you probably see signs and things like that. But I feel like they could even come forward at this time as well. Maybe you start to move on accepting dates and then this person will come forward. Um, but. I didn't really want it to turn into a love reading, but it kind of is. So, yeah, what we're seeing here is somebody wanting to take the initiative and um, like that spark of energy, and, you know, wanting to keep going. You could feel very youthful inside, but remember to rest, okay, guys? Because you will start with the aches and pains if you haven't already. I feel like if, you know, with this number nine, this nine of pentacles, okay, so you can start to feel the expansion of Jupiter, depending where it's placed in your chart here. I feel like things are just going to really start to expand for you. Um, so, yeah, really, you know, be focused on what it is you want. Be sure of what it is you want. Like I said, um, be careful what you wish for. Okay, it's flying out. Yeah, the Emperor. So if you're wishing for somebody who's very stubborn, it was reversed. So if you're wishing for somebody who's taking on negative traits of the Emperor here, um, and you're wanting them to take the initiative and take on this masculine energy, um, it was reversed. So I feel like... Um, you may feel like a surge of energy to take the initiative. Um, when I say masculine, we both have, both male and female have feminine and masculine energy within them. So it doesn't have to be a male. Okay, guys. But I feel like maybe you're wanting um, a masculine energy to take lead. And with, when this has come, uh, come out reversed, I feel like your masculine energy may need balance in here okay so we have you know a a yeah it's about balancing the masculine and feminine within you so don't try and steam ahead with this um get things done attitude because like i said you could be feeling this energy and wanting to take initiative but i feel like the advice here is to not do that it was reversed so um, don't charge ahead, slow things down with the four of swords, you know, um, allow the energy to 
allow Alliance Gate to do its job basically here, you know, allow your DNA to be activated, your ascension to happen and not wanting to rush things here. So I feel like with it reversed as well, if they have those negative traits of an emperor, like I said, being set in their ways, it could be that this person is, or, or you have an age difference, a significant age difference between who you would consider your divine partner to be or somebody who's coming in for you. Um, so it, that could be one representation of it. But I feel like um, what they're doing or what they will receive during this activation code is to let go of their ego to, you know, like I was saying, when you're feeling good about yourself, I feel like their ego is going to take a hit here. So if you've let go of, you've already worked through that and worked through your ego, that's very positive, okay? So then you'd be receiving the abundance of the emperor, not the negative traits. So that you'll know yourself what you've worked on, not what they've worked on, especially if you haven't been in contact with them. Um, you know, maybe it's something that they need to do and what they're about to step into here um, when the light hits them, when the DNA activation code hits them, um, you know, so they may have to go through this process of letting go of their ego and it's painful and they will need rest and they will need time. Um, I, I probably feel like letting go of my ego probably as a Scorpio was probably one of the hardest things I had to do. So, you know, it's crazy, but it, it really is. It's like one of the hardest things I had to do there. So, um, yeah, the emperor here, I feel like it's abundant energy coming in for you. And it's um, a reward here. OK, I feel like this turned into a reading. And I have to say, I don't want to, but I have to for divine feminines here. OK, Um like I said, it doesn't matter if you're male or female. Um, it's divine feminine energy. Um, what I want to say is here, the message I'm picking up is stop going into your masculine too much. OK. Um, you may be finding that this is what it brings more feminine balance in you. Lionsgate A8. So you may feel like that you get more feminine energy coming through. You may have had to take on a lot of masculine energy throughout your life, you know, to get things done, um, to take care of yourself and things like that. And that's OK when, you know, that's why we have both feminine and masculine within us. Um, maybe for the divine masculine here, we see him stepping more into his masculine energy as well. Just be careful not to go too stubborn and being, you know, and because I feel like um, the divine feminine is wanting you to come forward, um, but not all guns blazing because it was reversed here. So I feel like, you know, um, hold back a little, you know, don't come in full charge. They're not ready for this. Um, this attitude, I mean, there will be some divine feminines who are saying I'm ready for my divine masculine to come in but um it's not the same thing what I mean there okay so I'm gonna take some of the Akashic Tarot deck here knocked it off and let me just pull some of these cards here Okay. So we have the Queen of Forces. Look at that balance showing up already. The Akashic Field, one of forces there. The King of Keys. Now, this king is somebody who's returning. Okay, so somebody will be returning, getting that push if you and they have that balance here. Ooh. The loving elements here, three of roses, loving elements. And we have the king of scrolls. So 
wonderful. At this time, we're being asked to, okay, focus on balance, what I was just speaking of, you know, the divine masculine within you, um, your yin and yang, and, um, you know, this, your sun, maybe focus on your moon sign as well, depending, you know, if you're in your feelings and or your logic there as well. And it's saying we all have access to this Akashic field. Um, we've spoke of this, you know, this infinite collective knowledge. You have access to this. So go ahead and access it at this time. OK, it'll bring you a lot of power. Um, the three of roses here, three of cups, union and the king of keys, somebody returning here. So, yeah, um, I look, it's it's a king again. That's why I kind of feel like it's this divine masculine, um, you know, returning here. If you are male, it could be that your female is more in the masculine energy. OK. So the king of scrolls here. So this is having learned a lot, gathered a lot of information. And again, with the Akashic fields, you're going to have a lot of access to this. So please, um, you know, do focus on your higher learning and absorbing as much as you can at this time here. Um, I'm definitely more focused on this path. Um, leading to the gate here, lion's gate here. So it's like, you know, it's led, you've learned this much so far, you know, you're almost there, I feel here. Okay. So, you know, buckle down and do your homework, you know, keep learning, keep absorbing all this spiritual information because you're going to receive huge downloads at this time. Okay. So, and all the elements here, you know, because people always ask me, is it earth sign, water sign? All the elements are here. OK, so regardless of your sign, this is about, you know, love and the coming together of all elements here. OK, it's about union and it's about, you know, um, look, rebirth here, birth, new beginnings you know, it's a child, this is innocence, fairies and things, you know, being open to all these things, um, being open minded will help you here more. Like I said, get out in nature, meditate, look at all the positive things around you, look at things through the eyes of babes, you know. And this is somebody returning here, okay. So balance is what we can expect. Um, I feel like here um, there's some sort of element of um, fire and air. Oh, my God. I was supposed to do a reading for fire and air. <laughs> OK, so fire and air. It didn't even win the voting thing but um because it was earth and water that won but fire and air okay fire and air fire and air here you need to reflect Look at uh, look at the love between you both here. OK, I feel like um, somebody's very shallow. Somebody's very shallow. Um, I feel like one of you has very deep feelings. I feel like an, uh, an air sign has um, retreated here. Um, but their feelings are quite deep. They've just took themselves off here, though. Okay, we'll do a whole separate read for that, guys. Okay, guys. So, yeah, like I said, I'll put lots of stuff in the description box for you guys. But look out for those signs. There's so much beautiful things, so much transformations happening. Focus on the positive, not the negative, guys. And more positive will come in because... Everybody is about to receive um, what they've been sowing here. So if you've been putting goodness out there, I hope it comes back to you a million fold, guys. Good luck.